Hello, I'm back. Okay, more to talk about. So, moving down this path, I'm like, fuck, man. How am I going to be able to move this energy out of me? I mean, I move it in so many ways, but it's really amazing what I'm witnessed. You know, I really like to be witnessed. I really <sighs> love to bring it in. I love when the person's here with me. That's a big deal. Having people with me in person, it's a powerful channel. We're two are gathered in the nature, is what it says in Hebrew. In the nature of presence, of limitless consciousness. This is what it was talking about. And so I'm like, man, how do I bring myself out? I shine as bright as the sun. This is a post I put on the internet the other day. I just saw it and invigorated me. I was like, oh, I shine as bright as the sun, as strong as the sun. I shine so amazingly. Who is it that could stand before me and take the fullness of my shine? Can I even do this? Oh, goodness, I wish for this. I wonder if that means I need to go to Haleakala and have a, have a ceremony. Maybe I could go... Uh, oh my goodness. This this is touching me. I, I feel like crying. I don't know if I'll do this. I, I don't even want to say it out loud. It seems so scary. Maybe I could go to Haleakala on the time of the full moon. Uh, the time of Hallow's Eve. All Saints Day. Powerful gateway that day. Scary gateway for sure, but... Wow, that would be a very powerful spot. Because I don't like waiting, you know, I'm tired of waiting. I'm like, patience is crazy. What's the next gateway? What can I do? You know, I need another gateway. I need another portal to open. Oh, wow, the clouds are so gorgeous, too. Oh, my goodness. I'm glad that we're here talking about this together. Because, man, you should see how amazing these clouds are. I would show them to you, but my, my camera on my phone is not good enough to actually capture them. So, so I won't even try. Oh, wow. They're like the angel wisp clouds. I think that's what they call them. Oh, uh, no. Rispy, airy, wonderful. Kind of like a sword in a stone. Something, uh... Standing on top of something. But that's something that's standing on top of kind of goes dips in. Like this, you know, kind of dips in. Which, if you think about it, is kind of like the greater, you know, kind of dips in. Really beautiful it is. Oh, it's a man flying above it. Oh, would you look at that? Oh, it's, it might be Eau, too. It's tough to see, actually. It's, and I love to go to Eau. It's where I live, you know. I've been living out here in the world, but it's where it's wanted me to be. I've been making some money. I've been um, transferring some energy. It's good that I finally got to transfer energy to that group of people, because I was like, ah, I don't really want to talk to these people. They're all heavy, 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 heavy politics and stuff. And it's like, no, they're good. It's awesome. They're wonderful. And what beautiful people do to care about the world in such ways. How gorgeous this is. You know, a lot of people doing some good work in the world. Makes me happy. Oh, wow. Yeah, a person flying above. Is that the crater? Is that Eo? It's tough to say. It's an amazing thing. Wow. I mean, I was just talking about the crater, and when I saw it, so... It's a message in the Book of Life. Everything is lined up and synchronistic. It was 322 when I said that. Uh, 3 minutes and 22 seconds. Uh, 22 is a master builder number. 3 is the number of the ascended masters. So, really interesting. But yeah, it's, it's clearly a, a person. It's clearly. A stick figure kind of, you know. But Yeah, clearly. Arms, legs, everything. Flying above a, either Ea or a crater. So. Oh, wow. Look, did you look at that? A triangle down there. Where that is. It's weird to see that. Whoa, even there. Oh, wow, it really is a mirror reflection. Oh, oh no, no, maybe not quite. That's interesting. Maybe it's to symbolize something. Cloud gazing. Amazing divination capabilities. Sometimes I can really see, like, wow, it's... What's going to happen? I knew that I saw this like mermaid woman in the sky, and I was like, "Oh, I'm going to meet this woman." That was the woman I got to experience um, sexually and intimately. And goodness, she was so fun, freaking wonderful. It would be great if it was still going on. I'm telling you, I could become very addicted to that. Oh. But it's okay, you know. You just charge something up and you go. I guess. I guess that's just how it has to be. I, I would drive for something different, you know. But, it doesn't give me that option. It's like, no, 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 no. I know you like that, but you have to come do this other thing. I'm like, oh, come on. Let me do, let me do that. That's all right. Whatever it wants of me, I guess. 
I did think I was going to get into some kind of tantric practice, but I guess not yet. Maybe if something can take the full brunt of my energy. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. I'm like, Ugh. who can uh, who can stand there in front of me while I transfer the power of the sun? <sighs> Without burning up. Yeah, this is nice. It's good to talk to you, you know. It's good to talk to you about all these many things. I just made the two other videos, and so this is like a new set of videos in some way. The van videos. It's fun, yeah? Ah, no teeth there. What happened? Gosh. You stayed that way for so long. Man, I guess I was tired for the sun. The sun was making me tired. I feel much more, much less tired now. I must need a vitamin C, or something of this nature. Use the restroom again, but you know, drink some water, some food. Well, I just want to let you all know again that I love you, and I just wanted to apparently say this very short post. There's not really a lot else to come through. I'll, I'll say more to you later. Don't worry. Maybe you'll be able to take the power of the sun. I mean, I know that you guys don't really see that I'm wise. And don't really see that I have uh, these amazing teachings. Or else you would be watching this. You'd be like, mm, let me see this. So focus on whatever it is you think to be right. But it's okay. Not a big deal. You're doing exactly what you need to be doing. So you're perfect. It's like, man. Do you guys have any idea what it is that I'm, what I'm doing? I, I try to help you understand. But even in transferring it, it's like, you won't understand. It's like, how could you even believe it? It reminds me of something Neem Kroli Baba said. Why are you going to tell everybody these miraculous things? Just so that they won't believe them. I don't know. Seems like the right thing to do. I mean, this information has to get out there somehow. Nobody knows it. It's got to be out there somehow. There's a place for it here. It's missing. So where it's missing in the world, you can say, okay, this is the thing that I need to give to the world, because it's not there. So i got to give it to it. Who else is going to do it? It's a sense of responsibility in that way. Hmm. Well, I love you. Thank you for everything. You're amazing, each and every one of you. Absolutely perfect, enlightened beings, the phenomenal Buddhists. Every one of us, all of us, together as one. Thank you so much. Unconditional love for all beings everywhere without one exception. Aloha, mahalo nui loa. Hopono bono. Matakue o yasu. Matakiasu. All our relations. Wopila wakantaka. Wopila takasila. Wopila. Mahalo. Gracias, grazie de nada. Wait, you said you're welcome. Merci beaucoup. Danka, Origato, Shishini, Malo Lele, Malo Opika. Thank you. Love you all. Aloha.